refer to the exhibit. Which data format is used to represent the data for the network automation applications? On the screen, we have few lines of code and it is your responsibility to recognize what type of code is being used. The answers are XML, YAML, HTML and JSON. The answer to this question is JSON. This is a CCNA 3 modules 13 to 14 emerging network technologies section type of question. So that's where the information is coming from. As a student, you should be able to recognize JSON, XML, YAML and HTML from each other. The common data formats uh, that are used in many Cisco and other networking Automation applications include JSON, XML, and YAML. HTML, not really, because it's mostly used in web applications. It may be used in web GUIs, but other than that, the, in automation, typically it's either XML, JSON, YAML. JSON is commonly used in Cisco uh, automation products, so you should be able to recognize it. And one way you can recognize is that the object is one or more key value pairs is enclosed in braces. See, we have braces right here. So that's one way we know it's JSON. And the keys must be strings. Uh, the keys that are strings must be ha have that double quotation like that. So that's one way you recognize that it is JSON. Uh, and we also have the colon uh, in between uh, the pairs. So right here there are colons between the key value pairs. In XML, the data is enclosed within a related set of tags as opposed to having this uh, structure. In YAML, uh, the data known as the object and the key value pairs and the key value pairs are separated by a colon without the use of quotation marks. So because of this one has a quotation marks and it has that these, you know, these uh, braces at the end and the way that it is structured here, we know it is JSON. So that's the answer to this question.